A second I thought we lost you there. We're not done yet. Get up, princess. What are you doing? Backing up the hard drive. It's a good habit to get into. Rumlo needed your help. What the hell are you doing here? You're saving S.H.I.E.L.D. intel. Whatever I can get my hands on. Our mission is to rescue hostages. No, that's your mission. And you've done it beautifully. You just jeopardized this whole operation. I think that's overstating things. Be careful calculations. Rules. 
Partake in the violence You call me cruel, not my fault you're fools in a childish alliance Am I to blame? Am I the traitor? I got bitches off the Zans. Bitch, I got bitches. Than she ever had growing up. Yeah. But when you told me the whole story, I felt like throwing up. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I definitely did not plan for this exact thing to happen. Whatever shall I do? What happens now? Oh. Well, I didn't get enough time to prepare for that. I'm angry. You know, I'm getting totally screwed over here. Uh -huh. The deal was that if I win the Hunger Games, I get to live the rest of my life in peace. But now, you want to kill me again. <laughs> well, you know what? Never done this to you. I would have never done this to you. Till I drive you away. I know what you'll say. Knowing you guys are behind me is more important than anything. I'm not just another fellow disciple of the bat or whatever. Tim, Jason, I'm your brother. Hey, what? 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 Never mind. I've never seen such a miserable spy. I've also never seen a man with glistening thighs. I mean, you can't shag properly with that wax curse. First block to the musk of my chest. 
Tesmas yeah. I hypnotize you with a little strip tease And then you don't jump I'm swinging on you like a 60s yeah. You're defenseless, my rhymes can be deflected You like all the sex I've ever had I'm protected, yeah I'm about to ruin y'all's day. Let's talk about Rick Grayson. Because as a lot of comments on that video showed me, some people don't know about Rick Grayson. And personally, I don't find comfort in the idea that some people can sleep at night. So I'm gonna give you all the same trauma that the rest of us feel when we hear the name Rick Grayson. So it all started when Dick Grayson got shot in the fucking head. He was shot by KG Beast, who was hired by Bane in an attempt to kill Nightwing to mentally break Batman. However, Nightwing is Nightwing, so of course this didn't work. Instead, he just got amnesia. And a fear of heights. That's important, I'm not just mentioning that, that, that has consequences. Because of his fear of heights, when he came back he could no longer be Nightwing. In fact, his entire personality had changed when he woke up from the coma he was put in from, you know, being fucking shot in the head. So not only was he too scared to actually, you know, go out and do all the acrobatic shit that Nightwing is known for, but also, he, j he didn't feel up to the task. That wasn't him. And in fact, that so much wasn't him that he stopped going by Dick Grayson. A and chose Rick. Spelt R-I-C like people do. Anyway, Rick moved back to Bloodhaven and assumed a new life. Fans got a character that went from looking like this to this. J just cause. Rick Grayson became a taxi driver. You know, the retired superhero to taxi driver pipeline. It's, it's pretty solid. Famously upbeat and cheery Dick Grayson, who based his entire adult identity off of Superman, then also developed anger issues and a fucking drinking problem, actively told the Bat family members that he did not want to come back and he did not want to become Dick Grayson again because he was happy with who he is now. He completely forgot his relationship with Barbara Gordon, actively did not want to rekindle it again, and instead started a relationship with a bartender that he knew because he would just consistently drink at the same bar all the time. Because again, Rick Grayson had a fucking drinking problem and that was a main part of his character. This was received, uh, le less than good. And because of that, the storyline tried to push him more into a Nightwing role without explicitly, like, undoing everything that had happened. Rick felt an impulsive need to help people when he saw crimes being committed. He donned a really fucking stupid costume. Three, uh, three separate times. There was a storyline where everything that made him Nightwing before he got shot got stored in a crystal by the Court of the Owls, and then Joker got a hold of that crystal and made Nightwing turn against the entire Bat family. I hate this storyline with my soul. This story lasted 25 issues. It went from October of 2018 to October of 2020. This was Nightwing for two whole years. Alfred fucking died while Dick was Rick. Bane killed Alfred in the comics recently. He'll come back eventually. He always does. There's a special place in my soul where the hate for Rick Grayson lies and it grows bigger by the day. Fucking sure he had the right. But he's ugly, and I'm glad he's dead, cause there was no fucking candle in his pumpkin head. You're not special. <laughs> they got three looks, and that's it. You got a homeless man, a 12 year old boy, and a hooker. Myself completely. I don't know my name. You are a last
What would you say if I change my name to Trash Boat? I'd say you're a total loser. You wouldn't say it was cool? Not if you're changing your name to Trash Boat. Wait, you're not actually considering changing your name to Trash Boat, are you? Seven in the morning. I'm not a boy, and I'm not a girl. I'm a coconut. I am the coconut. Hey, I'm a coconut. Coconut. and he was really happy and everyone lived forever and it was great the end. Enough! You can't just deny what Jack did to Rowan. I hear you! Right, Tina. So do you want to do some side quests, sir? You need to accept it. Roland is there! I know! I know! But it's my story! I look like a moose. Yes, but a very cute moose. Make all the boy moose go. God may forgive you for being gay, but no one is going to forgive you for that haircut. to know. What? What? What do they do? He gets you. <laughs> Rick Grayson looks like he listened to Rap God one time and made it his whole personality. Tell me I'm wrong. Try and tell me I'm wrong. God damn. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. What is that? I'll be crying if I look like that too, bro. That's fucked up what they be doing to y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. I'll be saying that's fucked up like, bro. You probably had the full washing set. It should be fire probably if they ain't cut your shit. Fuck it though, bro. It's your life. What's poppin'? Don't mind me just watching.
got on A and R, she got on stilettos. She my best friend, yeah, we not a couple. She a rock star, she a sex symbol. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. I'm headed straight for the floor. Tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story Get up! Get up right now! She always blocks it! Always! Get away from him! I didn't mean to. I'm... I thought I could redeem you. I was wrong. All right, so in Injustice, Nightwing ends up being killed by Damian Wayne. It starts off with Batman and Nightwing talking about what they have to do, and with Batman telling Nightwing why they gotta stop Superman. And currently at Arkham, Superman is already there. And blocking their path is Batman, and that's when Batman realizes Damian is now with Superman. And it turns out that Superman is moving all the prisoners from Arkham into a more secure facility. As Cyborg is releasing prisoners, Batman activates a virus, which makes Cyborg fall down. But Nightwing just tells everyone to calm down and he turns off the virus. Green Arrow tells everyone to stop fighting because now there is a prison break. And also Solomon Grundy comes out of the floor, grabbing Damien and putting him back down in the hole. Wonder Woman stabs him but gets thrown away, and Superman is able to cut Damien down. With of course Nightwing taking the hand off and teasing him a little bit. But Damien starts getting crazy while fighting the Riddler, and Nightwing is trying to calm him down. But Damien tells him to stop telling him what to do and throws his stick at him. And not noticing Nightwing gets hit in the back and falls on a rock which ends up breaking his neck, leaving Batman alone again. Day, this victory would have called for a party at Titan's Tower. 
the music, the laughter, the mustard with pizza on bottom. But these days, I have no party mates. Raven became a servant of Trigon. Cyborg? He joined the regime. Beast Boy has been missing so long that I must assume he is dead. Dick Grayson? He is my star-crossed soulmate. He will never be replaced. And now, all that's left is me, last of the Titans. your thing Bruce Wayne has ever done. I don't know if injustice Bruce Wayne counts, but it's for sure this. puts people like me in little boxes. <laughs> you chose the right box though, I will admit. 
WTF are they feeding this kid? Yeah. Just Aqualad. Please. <laughs> I'm a professional acrobat. <laughs> I meant to do that. Give up forever to touch you. Cause I know that you feel me so. Oh, yeah. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. And I don't want to go home right now. And all I can Can I say it? Just once? Only if you wish to suffer. Gird over here! <laughs> I don't think I love you anymore That gold mine changed you You don't have to hold me anymore Arcade's collapsing My name's Richard Grayson, but all the kids at the orphanage call me Dick. Well, children can be cruel. Yeah. <laughs> Just like before, I can see that you're sure you can change him, but I know you won't. The devil doesn't bargain, he'll only break your heart again, that isn't worth it, darling. He's never gonna change. Hey there, big guy. You've experienced a great loss, Richard, and trained for many, many hours. Are you finally ready to become my partner in the war on crime? As I'll ever be, Batman. Then may I present to you... the Robin uniform. I can never express how grateful I am, Batman. Thank you, sweet mother of the gray fucking ghost. What the hell is that? What? It's just... It's just the Robin uniform. What's wrong? Okay. I just... Oh, I have a few, just a few critiques. Of course, anything. Okay, so first, why is it so fucking colorful? You mean other than the name? Yeah, other than the name. Well, it's to teach you stealth. Say psych right now. If you can hide in the shadows wearing that, then you can hide in the shadows wearing anything. You need to earn the shadows, Grayson. So it's to get me shot at? No. Because it sounds like it's to get me shot at. It's not primarily to get you shot at. You do remember I'm 12, right? I hardly see how that's relevant. And where are the pants? Think you're a hero? And they'll tell you you are so stoic and handsome. And you come so far. You think you're a villain. But I know you're not. Under all that angst and anger is a 
a dying, broken heart. Hey, what about the lonely little girl? I'm what sorry. About the monsters who prevail. I'm you sorry. You never came to save my world. What about me? I recognize that you're upset. I know oh, that you did you know wrong. Of me. But trust me, please believe me, this won't stop the hurt for long. We don't need to end like this. Look me in the hero complex. I know I'm the villain, but you know it's a disguise. I do this time after time after time. I do all this shit for other people. And then I wake up and, and I'm empty. I have nothing. I can't keep lying to myself saying it. I'm gonna change. I'm poison. I come from poison. I have poison inside me and I destroy everything I touch. That's my legacy. I have nothing to show for the life that I've lived. And I have nobody in my life who's better off for having known me. You are better than me, that I could never beat you in anything! I am better than you! And why were you so easy to turn? When you face the kind of threats that he has, there's going to be collateral damage. My sister is gone because of him. You should collateral damage. Ash was his brother. He loved him like a brother. Great. And when shit went down, he'd go to war like a brother. I've done two prayers for us, my dear. Fuck with Batman's kids. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Fuck with Batman's kids. I'm sorry, I just can't let this go. Bruce Wayne has canonically punched Dick Grayson more times than he's hugged him. When Jason died, Bruce didn't tell Dick, and when Dick came home to ask him why, Bruce accused him of resenting Jason for being adopted, punched him in the face, and then told him to leave his key with Alfred when he left. Bruce basically didn't speak to Tim for the first year that Tim was Robin. He, like, fucked off to Europe and left Tim with a homicidal pseudo-Batman.
once Bruce and Cass weren't getting along, so Bruce organized it so that he and Cass got drugged by a villain so that they would physically fight each other and didn't tell anybody about his plan, so Nightwing was there, like, trying to stop them and getting in the way. When I tell my therapist about Batman and his children, she takes notes. <laughs> I don't know how to play bass. Token, how many times do we have to go through this? You're black, you can play bass. I'm getting sick of your stereotypes. Be as sick as you want, just give me a goddamn bass line! Even when you disappear, I can't get away from you. I've struggled for years to get out of Bruce's shadow, to build a life for myself as far away from his world as possible. And the last thing I want is to be wearing this damn thing. You're not Batman. I don't want to be the Batman anymore. Hurting. Try traumatized. I finally become leader and wind up sending all of my friends to their deaths. I, I know I did what I had to, but I hated it. When we started this team, I was desperate to be in charge. Not anymore. And, and that's not even the worst of it. You, you can't tell Batman. Nothing leaves this room. I always wanted, expected, to, to grow up and, and become him. And, and the hero bit, I'm still all in. But that thing inside of him, the thing that, that, that drives him to sacrifice everything for the sake of his mission, that's not me. I, I don't want to be the... Batman anymore. Do you think he's really dead? I don't know. You'd like it, wouldn't you? If he never came back, then you get to keep that suit. I've struggled for years to get out of Bruce's shadow, to build a life for myself as far away from his world as possible. And the last thing I want is to be wearing this damn thing. Even when you disappear, I can't get away from you. I don't need a girlfriend, I got a goldfish She needs my attention cause she is nearly five I don't have a secret dream or some bold wish And I don't need a Into unknown territory Into unknown in danger or trouble, I'm there on the double You know that you always get caught, get possible He has dreamed about this his whole life. Oh, fuck! I feel bad about what happened. So, you're apologizing? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't forgive you. Herb, I said I'm sorry. Yeah. And I do not forgive you. 
the snare and the bass wear in the face this fucking way Better prepare to get laced because they're gonna taste my I got that adrenaline in them, in them, not going with them Never gonna slow up in them, ready to stab Any move in them, thinking it's time to go get You've kidnapped children? Excuse me, I did not kidnap them. I adopted them. Legally. All right, that's fine, I guess. Um, and what about this whole turning them into child soldiers to fight in your war? I was preparing them for a cruel and unforgiving world. And I think they turned out fine. Okay. Um, oh, what about the fact one of them died? He came back. This doesn't look good. None of this looks great. And we're not even touching on your violence towards the criminal and the amount of people you've killed. I've actually never killed anybody. You never killed anybody? No, no, that can't be right. No, you had to have done at least. You could say that I'm a big believer in thou shall not kill. Oh, you're right. You've never killed anybody. Yep. Uh, I'm just a cut above regular superheroes. And you know why? Why? It's because I'm back! Hey DC, can we at least have Batman be at least an okay frontal figure? Please? That's, that's all I'm asking for. I'm not even asking for good anymore. He is so mean to Dick that at this point it's just coming off as malicious. He invades his privacy by reading his journal. He doesn't care if he's going to school or even that he's been getting in fights. Bruce takes him to the watchtower where he does meet his friends like the Titans or what will soon become the Titans and I'm thinking this is a turning point for them. I mean look how excited he is when he gets back. This is his birthday present. That's great. But no. This was all a test to see how well he can analyze these people to take them down. And anytime Alfred confronts him about his behavior he's very dismissive about it. Like this panel's like the same birthday. This is the birthday that Dick went up to the watchtower and when Alfred asks him why can't you let this kid have any kind of normalcy, their children, he goes like, I never did. Why should he? You were supposed to protect these kids. That's why I sent Jason to you. You were supposed to make him right. But I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. Don't put your blame on me. As you know, I was hurt. But then I realized that's just how you are. Uh, maybe I just need to stop expecting you to be a good person so that way I won't get hurt when you're not. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep doing shitty things and then feel bad about yourself. Like that makes it okay. You need to be better. No, no, just stop. With you. I mean, how can you possibly be this useless? What? You're a bad friend. You know, 
about you're supposed to protect me. But you say the meanest things to me when I try to tell you. Aaron, you were so sweet when you were little. What happened? When I was little, I thought you were God. I thought if I disobeyed you, I would end up dead in a ditch. Since then, I have gained critical thinking skills. My bad on that one. Let's talk about this underneath my bat family figures in my Nightwing shirt in front of my Nightwing pops. Massive trigger warnings. I've already talked in another video about how Raven used her powers of empathy to manipulate Nightwing's emotions for them to end up together at one point. Go look at that video if you want more detail. Then there's Mirage who posed as Starfire to sleep with Nightwing and when it was revealed that it wasn't really her, um, his own teammates call him a slut for it. But, ironically enough, when Mirage is R-worded by an evil version of Nightwing, um, yeah, everyone suddenly cares about her being R-worded, but not what she did to Nightwing. Gotta love double standards. Here's a scene from Grayson when he gets his butt slapped about his consent and even points out that, um, yeah, I didn't ask for this. And when the agent is getting all touchy-feely, he's like, what are you doing? And I'm still not done, so part two coming soon. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more, waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. I hope you fall off that fucking swing and snap your fucking neck and never recover and live your life as a fucking vegetable. Black molasses, black buried masses. You know what? You're all right. I like you too. And you're, you're just great. <laughs> but not your rusty, dusty, busted ass. <laughs> you cluck. If you're so mature now, then I think it's time you grow up. Murdered. Just like Tim Messenger? Yes! George Merchant? Yes! And Eve Draper? Yes! Martin Blower? No, actually. Really? Of course he fucking was! Who are you? Mm -hmm. A fucking god.
Rue? When was this? Right after New Year's. <sighs> you dumb fucking bitch! I'm gonna no. fuck you! I can't help but to hear No, I can't help but to hear In exchanging of words What? Exes be like I gave you the world! I gave you the world! No, respectfully, you gave me PTSD